is going on everybody welcome back to rc car garage and in today's video as you saw in the thumbnail we got a new rc um i have been looking at getting one of these uh i've been looking on uh banggood um i actually got this one off of amazon for uh on prime day they had the sale so i figured hey <laughs> turned out to end up being cheaper on uh, Amazon Prime Day than um, through Banggood. So I picked it up off of Amazon. Um, so yeah, it's, you guys see it's a Easy RC Patriot with the uh, Forerunner body. I've always liked these bodies. And we're going to compare the size of this to the uh, SCX24. So let's go on ahead and open this bad boy up. All right. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> so that's it out of the box. Here it is, everybody. Got some tape here. Take this cover off. And here it is. So that's the truck. And now Let's see what else we got in here. Instruction manual. A uh, very, very basic controller. You got your trim levels all in the back there. It's not too bad. Your on off button right here on the side, and that button, that right there is nothing. Put that to the side there. Don't forget to read that. And you also get. <clears throat> Charger goes in a USB. You get a, uh, I believe that's a little two cell light bulb, a little 7.4 3800 mAh two cell. It is a two cell light bulb, and you get a little wrench. Yeah. All right. So back to this right here. Um, so it's not, it's a 118 scale, uh, easy Patriot, Pat, Patreon, easy RC. Um, <clears throat> I think it looks cool, man. I'll, I'll admit this thing looks, let me get you guys in closer. So we have, it says peel off right there. Uh, figure out how to do that. That's probably not ideal, but that's what I'm, oh, there we go. So there we go. Trunk, the hood is open. And as you guys can see, that is where you end up putting the battery. Which look at that. It actually brings another battery. So this thing actually comes with two batteries, guys. That is awesome. So that is awesome. So right in here is where you hook up your battery and the battery ends up sitting in the back right there. You're able to close the hood, peel that off like it says to. So that's, and the hood closes. 
once you put everything in, nice and tidy. And there you go. Dude, this thing, guys, this thing looks epic. Um, I don't know how much juice is in the battery, but before I do that, let's just close that hood real quick. So, this thing all has a full interior. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry about the lighting there. But if you guys can see, it has a full interior in there. Uh, these lights right up here actually do have light buckets. So if you guys can see right there, you can actually add lights into these, uh, these lights here. You get a rear tire, which I don't know how you, uh, if you guys have seen my, um, if you guys have seen my video of my RGT, you guys know that the rear wheel actually does put weight on the back, which will, when you're climbing, when you're climbing, it tends to flip backwards. But <clears throat> I think with everything, the weight being on the front with the battery and everything, we might not have an issue with that. Um, this thing's pretty cool, guys. It comes with a, uh, a snorkel here. Uh, you guys see that it comes with a... Uh, has a mirror here, has another mirror right there. It all comes with the mirrors. Um, they they left the door handles, as you guys can see there, they left the door handles white to match the body, which is pretty cool. Uh, I could probably end up grabbing uh, some paint and just touching this up black, just, you know, just to show off the, uh, the handle, the door handles there. And the back, I mean, it could definitely use some suspension. Um, I'm trying to see if these rear lights have buckets on them, but I can't really tell. And they do. I'm looking in the back there. You might not be able to tell, but if you can look through the camera there, you see right back there, right about where my finger is at, right back here. There's wiring that's coming along the back end of it, which is pretty cool. You got the ladder to climb up to the roof. This thing they, they did a pretty good job with the scale, uh, with the scale looks of this of this truck. Um, I will definitely admit. Now the underside, as the underside, you guys can see there is the motor right in there. It is a four link, four link front, four link rear. And I like how they have the whole underbody done. The steering looks like we have some pretty good steering. Uh, the body, to take off the body, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to be. Uh, you probably have to end up undoing a couple screws under here, uh, probably on the front also. The chassis, you guys can see right here, that is definitely definitely not metal chassis. That is composite or something. It's plastic. Um, it's definitely not a metal chassis, but I believe that it should... Um, I believe that this thing should not be too bad. Uh, one thing I want to do right now is compare it size-wise to the SCX24. So SCX24 and the RGT, I mean, I'm sorry, the Easy RC. So as you guys can see, I'm going to line up the rear wheels. The SCX24 is back further. Is S smaller than the uh, than the Easy RC Land Cruiser Forerunner. I believe this is the Forerunner Land Cruiser. But so line them up front to front, and you can see how much longer the you can see how much longer 
the SCX24, I mean, I'm sorry, the EZRC is than the SK, SCX24. Um, the SCX24, as everybody knows, it does have a metal chassis, as this one does not. So here's another view here. So tire-wise, the tires are also a little bit bigger than on the SCX24. And I do like the... Uh, the look of these tires, man. The look of these tires look badass. It might have some good grip on these things. Um, I do not think that they're foam, but uh, let's throw in a battery and see what this thing's all about. All right, now the controller. So if you are buying this for one of your kids, or a gift as a, uh, a kit for, for a child or something. It does have a screw here where you can't open this up. So we'll take this out, which is a nice feature so that way the kids aren't sitting there pulling this open and three AA batteries and pulling out the batteries and everything. So. Put the batteries in, and that's already on. Let's turn that off. And I am not going to be putting the screw back in there. So, let's put a battery in here, one of the batteries in here, and uh, let's see what happens. All right, so we got the battery in there and the on off switch is on the inside. The on off switch is on the inside right there. Pretty much about where my finger is at, like right in there somewhere. So let's close this up and see what this thing's all about. So cool, we do have lights because they come on when you start accelerating. But you do not have any rears. Oh, you do. You put on the, once you hit the brakes, you don't even have to tap it much. Well, I'm not even touching it right now. Not too bad, not too shabby. All proportional steering, proportional throttle. And we do have turn signals, both front and rear. So you turn it to the left, turn it to the right. You got turn signals there. And you got turn signals in the back also. So the throttle trim, I gotta figure out this throttle trim, man. Because I kinda don't like the fact that you just push push a little bit on that throttle. I'm not even touching it right now. And you can and you can hear it. The lights are on, so that means it's breaking. Um, I mean, it's not so much of a big deal, but it is. So, uh, it doesn't look too bad, guys. Let's see what it does here.
yeah, I want to see if I can try to upgrade, change the radio on this. Let's try this again. Yeah, it's not so bad. I paid $89. 99 on Amazon for this and um, that was during Prime Day so now I'm actually looking it up on Amazon right now and it's going for $119.99 um, they also have the Jeep Wrangler which was actually about the same price um, on, on for Amazon Prime but everybody has a Jeep and I kind of wanted to stay away from the Jeep because everybody and their mother has one. So I didn't want to uh, to be like everybody else and have the Jeep. But, I mean, I have always liked this body. Um, and on top of that, this is not a Lexan body. This is a hard body. Like, it's... It's a hard body, <laughs> unlike the SEX24. Uh, the SEX24 is just straight up. It's a Lexan body, which for ninety bucks, I, I, <laughs> I couldn't let it. I couldn't pass it up. Um, and with full interior and everything, which I want to see if I can try to get the in, get this opened up. And uh, try to add some touches to the interior on this thing. The, but this thing just looks badass. Um, I'm going to see if I can also try to add some lighting to these lights right up here. Because I think that would be kind of cool to have those lights and the lights up top working. So, yeah, I mean, so far... This thing's pretty cool looking. Um, again, it is a little bit bigger than the SCX24. As you guys see, right there. Might line up these wheels together, center, center. It's a little bit bigger than the SCX24, but um, as you guys can see there too. So a little bit bigger than the SCX24. But we'll see how it does. Um, I still have to test out the SCX24 again with uh, those weights, weights, washers, the weights, <laughs> the washers, and the uh, RGT with the washer weights uh, to see if it helped any so I can climb up that, uh, that big rock. That's still coming. I still haven't forgotten that. <laughs> That's still coming. Just haven't had time to do it. But... Um, with that being said, guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much all I got for you. So I got. I hope you guys liked this video. And uh, if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. You guys all have a good one.